Morning, gang. Lou here. <laughs> so, Ray got the timing cover put back on. And one of the tricks of doing that is gooping up your gasket and getting it all ready. Slide, you know, let it cure for just a little bit. Slide it on. And then um, leave all your all your bolts loose and get your crank pulley in place that helps the timing cover center on the crank seal which helps prevent crank seal leakage so then once the pulley is on then you can crank down the bolts the rest of the way and tighten that up and uh, that usually does the trick. So, um, problem spots are often right here in this little corner. So make sure you have sufficient goo in there. But again, let your goo cure for a little bit. Start to stiffen up a touch so it doesn't overly lubricate the gasket and cause it to uh, squish out of place. So, um, so now I'm gonna get ready to install the uh, head gasket. So a Felpro head gasket um, works just great. Um, there it says this side up. So the fiber side up metal side down now this metal side i give it a light coat of copper spray gasket and that's what the fell pro recommends just uh not a heavy coat and then let it tack up let the volatiles go away before you install and so then we will get this baby on there. And it's always a good idea to double check your gasket and uh, make sure it fits okay. Eh, it's hard to do one handed here, get it to go down even. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, we'll put it down there. And then this side of the gasket doesn't get the copper coat. So the idea is this side bonds to the cylinder head. And uh, your slight thermal movement occurs on the metal face. Because um, there is some that that happens so now one of the things that you got to do to prep okay and prep is really important if you want gaskets to uh, seal right, I'll pull this off okay so I take a can of this acetone and a rag and carefully wipe off the casting all the, all around and get all the oil and grease and dirt everything off of that surface and then same with the cylinder head you want this spotlessly clean and the main thing is free of oil uh, machining and uh, all that kind of stuff um, yeah get that all cleaned up so I that's uh, just staining in the metal there it looks like debris but it's really not this little bit of carbon I should remove so I'll remove that I'll polish on this a little more just to make sure that that's just staining and uh, 
The combustion chambers are nice and clean. They're smooth. So, uh, I don't worry about spark plugs at this point in the game because uh, they're just there for uh, seal those holes up and while we, because uh, we'll rattle can the block and everything then we can throw in a new set of plugs. But, uh, so that's the process. We'll get her going here. Okay, I've coated it. And that is a, a very thin, light coat, just enough to give it copper color. But there's absolutely no runs, no thick, wet spots. It's just a real light, thin coat. And uh, I'll wait till it uh, tacks up. And there, we caught a fly. Uh-oh. Well, I guess that's the end of his days. <laughs> so, uh, um, reminds me of Tanglefoot, the greatest name in flypaper. All right. Um, so we'll let that cure for a few minutes here. Flip it over, install, and, uh, then we'll get into torquing down the head. Okay, gasket set in place. Now you can look at some manufacturers. In areas like here, they pinch it way tight. Um, yeah, some of the cheaper gaskets just uh, don't jive very well. And uh, some of their holes punched don't line up so uh, you know those are waterways and uh, they need to work but uh, this one's all looking pretty good okay the headset on and uh, so you can see you got the three taller studs for the oil filter bracket if it was a war jeep you'd have a tall one back here for the bonding strap going to the firewall and uh, so now we will uh, dig out our uh, nuts and uh, begin to torque the head down okay so we need to torque it to 60 to 70 and there's a torque pattern somewhere here in the book. Uh, and uh, so when we do that, there you go. So I like to start out low. Um, about two-thirds of the torque and then go through the pattern a couple of times until I get up to a uh, full torque okay heads on so uh, that's all ready to go now I'm gonna jump down adjust the valves and uh, I just turned the crank until I see the uh, tap it at its low point and adjust them and the old spec said 14 but Willie's changed that spec to 16 later on to help prevent burnt valves so uh, and it's cold and so it's cold um, we'll, uh, do that. Uh, a couple of the other fellows have, uh, recently shown some videos on how that process goes. But one of the things I can't emphasize enough is you hear a lot of Jeeps on the road with their valves clacking away like crazy or super tight 
to where they make no noise whatsoever and uh, it's amazing how much proper valve adjustment um, impacts the performance so uh, yep um, and I just thought occurred to me um, maybe I'll leave this part for Ray to do because uh, I'm headed out of town for work Ray knows this process well so he could button that up and uh, I'm gonna come over here and we just noticed that that bad boy is snapped off so I'm gonna work on getting that drilled out that's the uh, coil bracket stud so uh, I'll get that baby drilled out and uh, a new uh, stud set there all right so that's the plan for now you guys take care